Hi and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you a small demo and review of this um, extra fine brush pen uh, from Uni. So I'm a big fan of Uni uh, pens. Uh, the My go-to pen for doodling is this one which is the Uniball Air Micro. I've been using this for many years right now and this is also a brand from Japan and I absolutely love all the um, stationary things from Japan. So the quality is brilliant and uh, it serves its purpose. So I'm quite excited to um, show you guys about this particular pen. I've been using it for a little while right now and in absolute love with uh, the fine uh, nib. When they say extra fine, it really is extra fine. So here are some more features about it. It is water and fade proof and it has pigment ink inside. This particular one is black in color. So I picked this up for about 250 INR and uh, I will leave the link of the website uh, from which I picked up. I did go to the physical store and pick up those so uh, you could check where you can get this. Uh, this has um, this written on it which is EFB. I think it's extra fine uh, brush and that's, that's what this stands for. So I will show you what this looks like from inside. So this is the brush tip. You can see how fine it is. It's very, very, very thin. So I'm going to test it out now on a sketchbook and see how um, thin the lines are. And you can see how they are very, very, very fine. So this can be useful for a lot of interesting things. So if you're somebody who's into um, illustration, who's into manga, uh, who's doing any kind of like um, art where you require like very, very fine uh, details, like for the eyes, the eyebrows, uh, grass so, so you can use like this kind of pen um, so the advantage of this pen uh, versus let's say um, fine liner is that this has like a brush tip so I can make like thick and thin lines uh, so here you can see that that it completely adds some character to my illustration so I'm able to get very fine lines if I need to and I'm also able to get thick lines if I want to so this I think for me makes a lot of difference and I haven't used a fine liner which is this thin before this so um, I'm quite happy because generally I find it a little hard to use brush pens basically in terms of like being able to control them but um, I have been able to control this pretty much fine it's it's not too bad in, in terms of like me being able to control it um, so far so I am just while I'm talking I'm just creating this illustration uh, so you guys can see how um, this can be used. So adding some details right now. So I don't need to switch pens when I use this. I can just use the same brush pen for adding all the details that I want. So let's have like the line still here. We'll give him a little tummy. And maybe we'll ha have like stripes um, in his pants. So I'm going to create like a nice pattern. So if you've seen someone wear like plaid, I think is what it's called or plead, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, checkered um, lines. So there's like one thin line, one thick line. That, that's the kind of pattern that I'm creating so far. So yeah, I'll just show you the pattern here. This could be a thick line, there could be a thin line. So this is really good for pattern making as well. Let's follow the same thing horizontally also. So this is how uh, bright the black is in this and it says it's waterproof so we'll just use a brush and some water to figure out if it is really waterproof or not. Um, it is coming out so I don't think it is waterproof. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, it says it's waterproof. So this was very fresh so let's try and um, see if it works for this and yeah, I think it is waterproof. You just have to probably wait it out and make sure that you don't apply um, water immediately. Like over here, I applied immediately. I didn't let, let it dry completely. 
but it does seem to come off very very little it's not 100% but that I think it's that much is okay um, I'm getting reminded of the pentel brush pen even in that it's a very similar thing um, once it dries uh, it doesn't really come out but there's a little bit of color that does seem to come out very very faintly but it doesn't affect the line quality so that's very important um, so that way this is a very very nice brush I really like it um, just to give you an idea I am using this Unibolad micro next to it to show you if I have to create a similar pattern then I have to draw thick and thin lines and then I have to create the pattern and there's a lot of difference this is so organic it's natural it's very beautiful um this is it's like i, I think this gives the effect of pajamas and it's, it's so nice lovely uh, the way the line quality is and it's very easy to use so I, I don't have to put like a lot of struggle when i'm using this brush uh tip pen so i'm quite happy with this um so i hope this video was useful for you to understand if this brush pen will uh, work for you and if it will solve the needs that you have if you have any questions regarding this brush or its usage you can uh, leave a comment over here and i'll get back to you if you're new to this uh, channel do consider subscribing to it and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications every time i put up a new video thank you so much for joining me today i will see you in the next video bye bye